Hi, in this video I'll show you how to rank within groups using Power Pivot. Now we have a simple table here. We have state, city, make, and quantity. So these are basically quantity of vehicles within the city and state. If I wanted to put this into a pivot table, go to insert, uh, pivot table. I'm going to put the table in the existing location. Let's put it into H5 here. Click OK. You may think, oh, all I need to do is put my state and my city. I'll just click that and move the quantity over here and make this a report layout, show it in tabular form. Uh, let's get rid of the city subtotals, right click, uncheck that, and the state subtotals, right click, uncheck that. And we have our sum of quantity here. Maybe you think, oh, I can put my quantity here and change that. Go to value settings and say show values as rank. So I want the one with the most cars, largest to smallest. And I want to make the, maybe the first one I want to be by state, right? Click OK. And let's call this state rank. Press enter. And it looks like it doesn't didn't rank it well, right? Because I've got these particular fields expanded. So if I right click and go expand collapse and collapse entire field, now it kind of ranks correctly, right? The, the highest value here is Texas. Texas has got the highest value, 4226, right? So it added up all the makes in the cities, different cities in Texas, and it gave that, right? Because there, there's a couple here. And it gave us the rank of one, and that's right. But when I start to expand things, I'll go up to California because it's on the top. It's easier to see. If I expand that, You'll notice that that changed from a three. It was originally a three. Now it changes to a one. And it's in a way it's correct. What it's saying is California, the city of Bakersfield, and Daewoo, that should be ranked first, right? Because it's basing it on these particular filters. If I close that, the only filter we have open is California. So California is the third largest based on this quantity. Let's say when we want to start to expand these rows, we want to have that stay consistent. It is still the third largest, and then it will kind of figure out from the states what are our city ranks and forward. So it's going to look something like this. So we want to have something like this where we have our first instance, we have California at three, and then when we expand California to include those cities, it's going to have the rankings for each city within the state. So, right? So Sacramento is going to be the highest with 565, so it has number one, and so on. Bakersfield number two. And as we expand it out within the city, the makes in the city, we're going to have instances where, uh, for example, San Francisco has two, two cars that are part of the San Francisco. And the make, the Hyundai, should be first, and Audi should be second. So look at and see that the rankings get retained here as we expand out from state to city and eventually down to the lowest level rank, the, the make. How can we do this? We can actually do this in Power Pivot. We're going to use a DAX function called rank X to do this. So let's see how this can be done. I'm back in a sheet here. I'm just going to create a new pivot table. Right click, right click and delete. Go into here, go to insert pivot table and I'm going to choose the same things but I'm going to put it on existing worksheet and I'm going to have the same location H5 here. Now I'm going to add it to the data model. So once I add it to the data model I can use it in Power Pivot. Click OK and I have my Power Pivot available here. I'm going to bring these in. Let's bring these in like we did before. City make quantity over here and go to design. Let's do our tabular and get rid of any subtotals. I'm going to click do not show subtotals instead of doing it here. Now I'm going to go into Power Pivot and create some measures. So a couple of measures I need to create. I'm probably going to create four measures. The first measure I'm going to create is not to use the sum of quantity. When we put this in here it's going to be an explicit sum. So I'm going to take that out actually and add a different measure. Go to new measure and this measure is just going to be called total quantity. 
and this will be creating an and here we're going to create an explicit measure. It's going to be basically the same thing as added this over here, but we're going to create that particular sum. And we're going to use the sum function tab and use sum of table two quantity. Close that. Check formula. Nothing's wrong. Number. Let's make this whole number. And we'll use separators too. Click OK. And it's added total quantity. And if I pulled quantity in here, it's going to be the exact same thing, right? So we have a total quantity here. But it's usually better to have uh, explicit measures. You can use them in other DAX functions. We'll take that out right now. So the second thing I want to do is I want to do a state rank. So I'm going to measures, go to new measure, and I'll call this one state rank. So in this formula, what we're going to do is we want to have a statement that is going to rank all the states, all the values for the states. And if it's going to see that there's only one value on that line, it's going to leave it blank. So I'm going to start off with the if statement tab. And we use a has one value. And if this table, if the table state, if that has one value, then close parentheses, then we want to run the rank x function, rank x. And the rank x, we're going to look at all the tables. We're going to look at all the values within the table to state column and close parentheses comma and then now we're going to calculate double click that calculate the total based on a couple filters now the first filter is we're going to also use all here press tab and we're going to use the city that's one filter and the next filter is going to be the make close parentheses, close parentheses, close parentheses, and we're going to close that parentheses. Click check formula. We have no errors. Just copy this so I don't have to do, redo it later on. Control C to copy. Go to number and whole number. Yes, we're going to use a separator. Click OK. And we have our state rank, right? So as I, so you can see that these are all open. If I right click and select collapse entire field that stays the same and we can see when I scroll down that if has one value that particular portion of the formula what happened is if that wasn't true it would be blank here right I'm gonna scroll back up here and I'm gonna open up California and put the city rank in there let's create a measure for city rank so I'll go to measure go to Matt new measure call this one city rank and put that formula control V to put that formula in there now all you need to do is change state that becomes city double click that and my rank X is going to be based on the city so that needs to change to delete that city double click that and when I'm calculating I'm calculating the all of it but all I need to do for the filter is just have the make. So I'll just delete this one. And I don't need that extra extra parentheses, I think. Let's check the formula. Maybe I do. Open parentheses, parentheses check formula, no, no errors. Number and whole number, separator, click OK. So now we have our city ranks here. You can see that they are correct because we have our Sacramento city, 565. That's the first rank. You can see that it is above the other ones. I'm going to close. I'm going to collapse this one so you can see a little bit better. If I use the regular rank function in Excel, you can see that it ranks correctly. This is cell K7, and my reference is, oops, not K7. This is cell k8 and the reference is k8 to k14 press f4 close parentheses let's do a quick check here drag the fill handle down here to the san francisco cell you can see that it matches here so these are done correctly All right let's delete that now what i want to do is also have a rank for the make 
So when I expand that, you can see that there should be a make that would indicate that the Hyundai should be the first rank and Audi should be the second rank. So let's make the rank for the make. New measure, and we're going to have, we'll call this make rank, and control V, let's see, did, did it copy that? Yes, I had copied that and it's still there. And all I need here is to change this from state to make, and I don't need the calculate function because this is the last one. The make is the last uh, one that we want to calculate the total. So all I need here, let's delete the calculate function. I don't need the calculate function anymore because I don't need to filter on any more columns. All I need to do, oh, before I do that, let's get rid of state. This should be make. All I need to do is rank all of the make based on the quantity total. Let's see. Where's my total that I created, that measure that I created? Close parentheses, close parentheses, check formula, no errors, number, and whole number. Use the separator, click OK, and it should have brought it in there. So we have it correctly there. Hyundai should be first because there's 305, and Audi should be second because it's 107. So when I collapse these fields, let's collapse all here. Right click. Right click, collapse all, collapse entire field. So let's see if this worked out correctly. We have our state ranks and we'll use California as an example. That is third. And let's expand it out. We'll go to right click, expand, and that expanded out California, Bakersfield to San Francisco. You can see that the headings there or the ranks stayed consistent with uh, Sacramento being the first and we have San Francisco is third. You can see that stayed consistent. And also the make rank, Hyundai being first and Aldi being second. So it kept the rankings consistent when we expanded or collapsed these fields. So that's kind of what we wanted for this particular uh, example. Let me collapse everything. We want to make sure that when we expanded or collapsed our fields, the rankings kind of stayed consistent. They didn't change like what, we, what would happen if we use the regular pivot table with the rankings. So this is how we can rank within groups using Power Pivot and the DAX functions. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.